Pamplona, Spain, the air sizzles with white-hot anticipation for the fantastically popular Julio Blanco's first ever worldwide concert telecast. Julio Blanco takes a last-minute interview in his luxury glass-bottom blimp slash dressing room. International star, pop icon, every young girl's fantasy. Not to mention a few seasoned journalists. What? What's next for Julio <laughs> Blanco? What is next for Julio Blanco? I ask you, Barella, who knows? Because my whole life has been an opening act for this night. After my mind-blowing performance tonight, the world will never be the same again. Because everyone will want every night to be just like tonight. Saturday night, huh? My Saturday night. Sabro Blanco. Got it? I think so. Mr. Blanco, you're on in ten seconds. I must go on. Wait, no, the interview wasn't over. You haven't cried yet. I don't cry for others. Others cry for me. And we're live in three. Let every night two, be Saturday night forever. One. Sabro Blanco! Did you get all that on tape, Bill? That was one hell of an opening number. Who are you? I'm just a spy. Uh, you ruined everything! Spy Groove, file number Crunchy Bottom Epsilon-14, codename Spanish on the Fly, the Maxi Bar, a fabulistic libation lounge, agent number one and agent number two, two people who would normally deny ever listening to Julio Blanco, now discuss the tragic loss of Julio Blanco. You are not. I was too. You are not. I was too. We were very close. Hey, boys. It's Mac, masterpiece by nature. Cocktail waitress by choice. So what's the difference between Julio Blanco and your date last night? Ah, uh, they both blow up. But only one's reusable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's totally inappropriate. He claims he and Julio were very close. Oh, yeah, everyone does that after someone famous dies. Hey, I knew him. Yeah, right. Here's one. What do you get when you cross Julio Blanco, Michael Jackson, and the Dalai Lama? Ooh, I haven't heard this one. Your pants are ringing. I'll tell you later. Agent number one answers his holographic calling card slash credit card slash library card slash phone. It's Helena Troy. She's all-knowing, all-seeing, and all that. What's up, boss? I don't know what's up, but here's what's going down. I'm sending you boys to Pamplona, Spain. Does it have anything to do with Julio Blanco's drop-dead performance last night? It has everything to do with it. Millions of dollars in donations are flooding in from Julio Spain. Where's it all going? It seems the Blanco family has requested... One minute, boys. Work that phone, Carlos. The family requested that donations be sent in Julio's name to a mysterious charity foundation known as Sabado Blanco. Sabado Blanco? Wasn't that the name of Julio's concert tour? Yes. It's also the name of a private real estate corporation owned by the Blanco family. So you're saying the Blanco family is reaping millions from Julio's death? I'm saying down in Pamplona, it's not just the bulls who are full of it. Don't forget to pack your castanets. This is Tom Brokaw in Pamplona, Spain. I'm outside the Casa Blanca, the famed Blanco family estate. For the last 24 hours, there has been a constant stream of mourners arriving here from all over the world to pay their respects to a beloved pop star killed in his prime. Who can forget the poetic words of his hit song, Yo Canto Numeros. I sing numbers which shall forever be immortalized as Julio's own eerie countdown to death. Get your Julio's dead t-shirts hot off the silk screen. Julio's Buy your teddy bears, flowers, candles, and handwritten heartfelt notes. Anything you need for the memorial pile. Buy a Come on. Get your Julio dogs. All beef. Okay, I'll take two of those dogs with relish. Wait, I thought he was your friend. Even I wouldn't eat one of those, and I hated him. Oh, he wasn't a friend friend. I know. Dude. The agents are surprised to bump into the irreverent, hip, young Hollywood post slacker A-list director, Trey Stone. So, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm here to direct Julio's funeral for pay-per-view. Hey, 
Listen to this one, guys. What do you get when you cross Julio Blanco, Michael Jackson, and the Dalai Lama? Oh, the film is coming. The scene is twisted. Look, everybody's in town for the funeral. Why don't you stop by the old Grande Hotel de Pamplona later? Many driver on the Dixie Chicks are coming over for a condom water balloon fight. Or something. Oh, the film is coming. someone forever. And now, my baby boy, taken from us all at the height of his career, to handle the intense grieving demand, we have set up a special line. The hotline to Julio is only $10 for the first minute, $3 for each additional minute. All proceeds go to the Salvador Blanco Charity Foundation. The number is 1-800. Uno, dos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Yo canto número. Uno, dos. Uno, dos. Tres, Say, you think these fans are stupid enough to buy all this? They bought his CDs, didn't they? Look, he cries. Candle for the miracle, boys. Get your candles for the miracle. Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. Whatever. Sure, thanks. Hey, you got a light? <laughs> thanks. Whoa. What? Look. What? You'll never guess who gave me these matches. Who? Julio Blanco. What? Spy crew. File number Crunchy Bottom, Epsilon-14, Part 2. Hot on the trail of the late Julio Blanco, the agents find themselves on a curiously deserted street corner near the outskirts of Pamplona. Okay, here we are, 1313 Avenue of the Dead. You know, this whole thing is very Scooby-Doo. I know, I wouldn't be surprised if through that door we found Velma, Daphne, and that blonde guy all strapped to chairs. Julio? Who are you? I am a secret that must be kept. Or save with us. Secret is part of our title. I am Margarita Blanco. Julio's twin sister. Shh. It is not safe here on the streets. Follow me. What seemed to be a tiny, unassuming home turns out to be El Dango A Go Go, the hottest underground dance club in all of Spain. I thought you were... Kidnapped forever? So does the world. But I am alive. I was raised by nuns who found me in the sewer. What were you doing in the sewer? What were nuns doing in the sewer? It is not pretty, but I shall fill you in on the stained history of the Blanco family. When my brother Julio and I were only six years old, my father, a bullfighter, died as a result of mad bull disease. I never heard of that. It's when a bull goes mad and kills you, just for the heck of it. The tragedy was seized by the press, and the family became famous. They used the spotlight of pity to make a living and formed a family band, Los Seis Blancos. Julio and I sang lead, and our four brothers were the backup. Tell me more. The night before our first big concert in the arena, Julio came to me and said our big brothers were planning to kill one of us. Because the family needed another tragedy to make a big splash. Exactly. It became clear that show business was going to destroy my family. I knew that I must do something to save us. If they wanted a tragedy, I would give them one. I made a ransom note and then snuck away through a drainage pipe beneath the arena. It led me into the sewers. Ah, so that's what you're doing in the sewers. Yes, and that's where I was rescued by the sisters of the Immaculate Sewers of Pamplona. Ah, so that's what nuns were doing in the sewers. My kidnapping made global headlines and Los Seis Blancos quickly became... Los Cinco Blancos. With the cute little prepubescent Julio in the spotlight, the band became a pop music sensation overnight. I believe the family have killed Julio in order to cash in for the third time on the myth of the family curse. Do you really think they'd be able to kill him? 
Oh yes, he was a selfish boy who grew to be unnaturally pretty for a man. Oh. Most people would want to kill him. Like Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, but for different reasons. We have to get into that house and find out what's going on. You cannot go there. It's dangerous. Too dangerous. Yeah, well, danger comes with the job. Agent number two goes deep undercover as irreverent, hip, young Hollywood post slacker A-list director Trey Stone. Buenos dias. I am Hector, Julio's oldest brother. Hey, man. I'm going to make this funeral the biggest pay-per-view event of the season. Oh, yeah. Sorry about your brother. Yeah, he is okay. Follow me. While agent number two distracts the family, agent number one listens in on his hypersensitive, vibrophonic, macroscopic earpiece. These are Julio's other brothers, Juan, Jose, and Germain. And this is Madre Blanco. I, oh, oh, my God. You are so sassy. You are the director for my son's big funeral? Uh, yeah. Oh, I love you. Using his state-of-the-art sharper image divining rod, agent number one discovers the hidden pipeline that supplied Julio's miracle tears. Hmm. You want something to drink? So sangry? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, I must try to maintain my strength. It's so sad to lose a thing. I mean, a son like Julio. I'm sure it's, uh, totally devastating. But... Tell me this. Will you be providing hair and makeup for this show? I, I mean the funeral. Bingo. Hidden headquarters for the Familia Blanco. So, we'll have altar boys, you know, incense, 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 creating a soft focus effect for teary-eyed close-ups of aging celebs whose faces have seen more knife action than tuna at an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet. You know what I'm saying, Hector? <laughs> Melanie Griffith. <laughs> but what about when Julio miraculously appeared? What? I mean, what if a miracle were to occur and Julio appears? All of a sudden. Hmm. Uh-huh. Hmm. I get it. Kill a superstar. Create a megastar. Get out of the house. Now. So, yeah. Uh, that's perfect. Then everyone cries. You walk down the aisle. I yell cut. We all go home. The check is in the mail. What? What about my close -up? We'll take care of that tomorrow. Get lots of rest. Drink some hot tea and madre. Little wax job on the upper lip, okay? Gotta run. Manana. Hector, show him out. Rendezvous at the front gate. Wait till you hear what I found out. Adios. Yeah, adios. So, how did I do? You sucked, but it don't matter. Because that guy, he was a fake. Shall we kill him? No. We won't need to. I have a better idea. Knock, knock. Who's there? Julio. He's alive? Yes. Peters! Peters! That my name! Not him. Him. He come into my house. He come in under false pretenses. He want to ruin the name of Julio Blanco. For all I know, he killed my son. Get him. 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 You know what? These people are going to kill us. Yeah. Whoa. No. Back. Wait a minute. Why? Where are we? Uh, Pamplona. Oh, guess what? What? We're just in time for the running of the bulls. Spy Groove, file number Crunchy Bottom Epsilon-14, Part 3. After discovering that Julio Blanco faked his own death, the agents are trapped between two deadly stampedes, raging bulls and rabid Blanco fans. Say, maybe you can get your friend Julio Blanco on the horn and have him call off his fans. Look, I'm not lying. We met at a surprise party Jenna Elfman threw for herself. We were trapped in a conversation with David Schwimmer. Thank you. Now, I can die in peace. Señores agentes, over here! Thank you, Senorita. Your sewers are very clean. Thanks to the sisters of the Immaculate Sewers of Pamplona. They are kept spotless. We have something to tell you. Brace yourself, Margarita. Julio is alive. <gasps> Using mirrors and a polysteroid latex mannequin, Julio faked his death. Oh, I see. A dummy blow up. Take a look at these. Whoa. Yeah, a spiritual visitation by a holographic imaging device. These are the plans for a second miracle. Transmitted by telephonic microwaves. But why? You are right. 
Someone is benefiting from Julio's tragic death. Only it's Julio himself. We need to penetrate the security of that church. The funeral's gonna be a total scene. We need to make the scene without being a part of it. That's nearly impossible. Follow me. I know these sewers very well. <laughs> <laughs> World-class, beautiful people, decked out in high-fashion morning apparel, fill the pews of the Cathedral of the Immaculate Sewers of Pamplona for the funeral event of the century. Celine, can you lose the hat? You're blocking camera four, all right? Everybody, as soon as the family arrives, we're getting live. Nuns, monks, and altar boys report to the set. Julio's secret miracle broadcasting station. Okay, people, work with me. We only have a few minutes. My funeral will be on time. Here's what happens. The priest will say a few words. Is that you? No, the real priest, you idiot. Then Elton John will sing the bitches back with the new lyrics, especially written for me. I still think you should have rewritten Crocodile Rock. Say, why don't you make a note of that? For your own funeral. Okay, then I hit this button, and my image is projected holographically onto the stained glass window. And Madre falls to her knees, and she say... Oh, my God, it's my sexy song. No, stupid, ah. The line is... Oh, my God, it's my son. Speak to us, Julio. Speak to us. Say it. Oh, my God, it's my dead son. Julio, speak to us. Julio, speak to us. Okay. Escúchame, back to the plan. Hector, you must make sure that the cameras are focused on my holographic image, or else the announcement of the opening of my Planet Julio restaurants will be lost, and my fake death will be in vain. Yes, my brother. What did you call me? I mean, sir. You're on thin ice, buddy. Okay, while you stand around, everyone, let's make this a funeral. Vámonos! Madre! Wait, you almost went out without the tears, Julio. Hey, hey, do I have to think of everything? I'm so sorry. Sir. Julio, you're finished. Who are you? It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is that the world just found out who you really are. Live on 17 pay-per-view channels. Smile, Julio. You're on candid holographic imaging camera. You've been rolling since you walked in. Holy for holy, this is bad. Show's over, Julio. Time to face your adoring fans. <laughs> oh my God! It's my son. Beat us, Julio. Shut up, Marle. Everybody back. Or I'll turn this into a real funeral. Ay, Margarita. <gasps> Margarita, you leave? Yes, it is I. You, Julio, are the only real tragedy in this family. Where are my brothers? Here they are. Let me get this straight. You were captured by nuns? They're sewer nuns, Julio. They're tough. It's over, Julio. Ha! It's only just begun. Take this. Take that. Go. You thought you would become Elvis by killing yourself. I was going to be bigger than Elvis. I was going to be Saint Julio. Take this. Take that. Been there. Done that. Then take this. Ha! Julio, you're a fool. You think anyone would go to a crappy theme restaurant named after a dead guy? That is why I use the miracles. To turn my restaurant into a shrine to me. I see. They come for the religious experience. It's not for the food. Ugh. Not so fast, Julio. But you forget, I have a sword. <laughs> Heads up! Oh! So, you thought you could take your fans for fools. You were the fool, Julio. On guard! I was not a fool. I had everything figured out until you came along. I even thought of a slogan. Planet Julio. And here, every night, is Sabalo Blanco. Hey! Yeah, well, that slogan's taken. You might want to talk to your lawyer. Oh! Hey, you don't want to kill me. We're friends. 
Remember? No, what are you talking about? Remember, we met at the surprise party Jenna Elfman threw for herself. Remember? Wait a second. You know that stupid guy from France, are you? Come on. Doesn't my face ring a bell? I'm so sorry. But no. Too bad. Yours does. Oi! Madre, help me! Shut up, you stupid brat! Madre, Margarita! Thank you, you sexy agents, for getting me back my daughter and getting rid of my spoiled, rotten son. And come! That's a wrap. Great work, everybody. Cast, I love you. Party at Tango a Go-Go. It's a miracle. It's Helena Troy, patched through live on the telephonic holographic miracle imaging device. Good work, boys. I'm sending someone by to pick up El Julio. Mm, by the way, what do you get when you mix Julio Blanco, Michael Jackson, and the Dalai Lama? Well, I'm sorry, but that's a touchy subject. Number two and Julio were very tight. <sighs> Whatever. I'm glad the fencing lessons paid off. I'm out. That's a mad joke. Okay, so uh, what do you get when you cross through Leo Blanco, Michael Jackson, and the Dalai Lama? Nah, I wouldn't want to go there. I wouldn't want to upset you about your friend no, and all that. He's not my friend. Just tell me the joke. So you admit that you were just pretending that just you... Just tell me the end of the joke. Tell me the end of the joke. Richard Gere. Huh. That's the end of the joke. It's not even that good. Nah, I know. That's it? <laughs> oh, no, no, hey! <laughs> 